Okay, XX Revolution. Oh my goodness. This is literally green slime. <laughs> it is like holographic. It's rainbow. Yeah, this looks bad. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be trying out a whole new brand of makeup and the brand we're going to be trying out today is called XX Revolution. I mean, unless you guys have been living under a rock, you would have probably heard of XX Revolution. It's a sister company to Revolution, the brand we know and love. So I thought today I would kind of give you guys the down low of all the different products I'm going to be trying out. I have actually been very kindly sent a whole massive vault of all of the range. I'm pretty sure everything is in here. So I'm basically just gonna give you guys the down low of my thoughts on this brand, what I think of the products, and this video is not sponsored. It's not affiliated with them. I don't work with XX Revolution. You guys know I have my collab with Revolution, but I have no like links to XX Revolution, if that makes sense. So this is just gonna be a very casual video of me trying out all these products. I'm very excited because this brand really sounds like something up my street. Before we jump straight into the video, if you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my my face before. Hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. And if you guys are new here and you have no clue who I am, I do actually have a collaboration with Revolution. I have three different palettes, two eyeshadow palettes, one contour and highlighter palette. And then I also have a blusher palette and a lip kit that I have recently launched with them. So because I am already a massive fan of Revolution itself, I do kind of have really high hopes for XX Revolution, but let's see what we think. All right. So first things first in my PR box, I have this leaflet that kind of tells me a little bit more about the brand. So let's take a little read through it together. Inside the leaflet, it says, this is Beauty Rewired. This is XX, the evolution of skincare and makeup into one. XX is ingredient first. From products with added skincare benefits to fresh formulas with endless choices of finish and texture. With XX, your skin is front and center. XX is fresh and fluid with impactful formulas and exciting textures, whatever the shade. So this brand actually launched on June 3rd and I'm a little bit late with this video so hope you guys don't mind that too much. I'm already seeing some really amazing looking foundations with a lot of shade inclusivity so that's really really exciting. I'm also pretty sure that all of the products in this brand are actually vegan which I think is amazing. So I am kind of overwhelmed by all of the products in here. Literally it is like stacked to the brim. So I guess I'm just gonna go into the skincare first and kind of see what that is about. So the first product I'm gonna to try out is the Hydra Quench Bomb. And this, I think, is like the most exciting product from this range that I have seen so far because I'm just obsessed with skincare. Whenever I see new skincare, I just can't help but want to try it. This is actually 70% water plus aloe vera, which I think is really great. I love aloe vera. So let's take a look at the packaging. Oh my God. This is so cute, look at this. The packaging kind of has like little water droplets on the lid, which I think is so cute. The product inside is literally like green, like vibrant green, which you wouldn't think from like the outer box. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like aloe vera but also cucumber. This is like a literal jelly. That's crazy. It smells so freaking good. Oh my goodness. This is literally green slime. <laughs> wow. It's kind of like jelly slash slime. It is so much fun. It is very cold as well. So I'm literally just going to apply that straight to my skin, can you guys see this? It's very like stringy. Oh my God, that feels so nice. What the hell? I'm sorry, but that literally feels amazing on my skin. It's like so cold and soothing. Just going to rub that in. I have no idea if I put too much on. <laughs> if I did, I'm sorry. I just get carried away with skincare, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that on my skin to kind of soak it up and see how long it takes for it to actually absorb into my skin. And whilst it's doing that, I'm gonna talk about the price. So this is actually 15 pounds. 15 pounds is kind of expensive, especially for like a drugstore brand like Revolution. But of course this is a new sister brand to Revolution. So we kind of can't go by the Revolution prices anymore because it's not the same brand. I would say the quality of this feels really nice. And I have used a lot of other Revolution skincare products in the past. I would say the quality of the product feels very similar, but 
the packaging is definitely a lot nicer and a lot more premium looking. So let's say if you paid 10 pounds for this in Revolution, you probably wouldn't get this really nice outer packaging with like all the droplets and the frosted glass. And I guess obviously those things do cost money. So you kind of have to bear that in mind with this brand. It seems that they have definitely gone the extra mile with the packaging with this brand. In terms of the quality of the skincare, it's hard to say because it does feel nice on the skin, but is it much better than the Revolution skincare? I have no clue yet. I do have to say, this has made my skin very tacky. Can you guys see this? It is like so freaking sticky now. I don't know if I'm supposed to wash this off. I should probably read the back. Okay, so upon reading about the product a little bit on their website, I have found out that this is actually a primer. I did not think it was a primer. I thought this was just like a hydrating gel or a cream of some kind, but no, it's actually a primer, which now I understand why my skin is so sticky, so that's okay. If I had known that it was a primer, I would have actually just used it on half of my face, and then I would have used the Cloud Complexion Soft Touch Primer on the other half to see how it performs, but unfortunately, I didn't realize that. So now that I have my primer on, it's time to move on to foundation. So they actually have two different types of foundation in this brand. They have the matte one and they have the glowy one. So the matte one is called the Liquid Skin Foundation, which is interesting. It comes in a load of different shades. I don't have all of the shades, of course, but I will have a shade chart on screen right now so you guys can see just how many shades they have in the range. And same goes for the glowy foundation. This is called the Glow Skin Foundation Luminous Foundation. So out of these two foundations, I think I'm actually gonna go for the matte one today. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just because I feel like this primer has done a really good job of hydrating my skin and even though I do have dry skin I kind of want to go for like that more full coverage kind of look today So the foundation shade I'm gonna be wearing today is the FX 3.5 I don't know if this is gonna match me that well But this is the closest shade from what I can see that they have actually sent me so we're gonna have to see how this goes Ooh, Okay, okay XX revolution. I've got to say I absolutely love the frosted glass throughout the range I think it looks very premium and just looks slick, you know before I apply this I actually just want to mention my face is not that sticky anymore. It has really absorbed into my face and my pores do feel kind of like tight. It's that same kind of feeling when you apply a face mask and it dries and it makes your skin feel like really, really tight. That's kind of the same feeling I've got right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a few pumps of this foundation and I'm gonna apply it onto my face quite sparingly because I can tell this is gonna be quite full coverage already. This is gonna be too light for me, I can already tell but that's okay, we will make it work. This is the only option I have. This is like the closest shade that they actually sent me, so I'm sorry. I'm just gonna use a little buffing brush like this to kind of buff that into my skin and see what happens. <laughs> it literally looks like I'm painting face paint onto my skin right now. Um, that's how light this is. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're gonna have to fix this with some like, contour and bronzing a lot of bronzing it's so annoying because this foundation would have actually worked so well if i had received it a couple of weeks ago i have been in the garden like sunbathing so that is why i'm quite tanned right now which is not helping the situation <laughs> all right so my foundation is now on and blended out now that i've got it on and it's kind of oxidized a little bit the shade isn't so bad from what i can see in the viewfinder anyway but let me know what you guys think i would say this foundation is great in terms of high coverage it's gonna be great for anyone with oily skin, but personally for me I had higher hopes for it. I'm not gonna lie I definitely feel like it didn't work very well with the Hydra bomb underneath it when I started blending it into my jaw right here It started like bunching up and it was not great like I kind of sorted it out now, but it still looks kind of cakey in that area, so I don't really know why that is. It could just be where the Hydra Bomb hasn't quite absorbed into my skin yet, but I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, I do kind of wish I tried out the Glowy Foundation instead, because this is just a tad too dry for me, and that's just me being honest. It just doesn't really sit that well on my skin. I feel like it's definitely kind of clung on to all of my dry areas. Now, the next product I'm going to try out is their concealer. So this is called the Super Fix Concealer. This is in shade CX 3.0. 
1.5. The packaging is the same as the MAC concealer, so I don't know if this is gonna be like a radiant concealer or a MAC concealer to kind of go in with the foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, it's the same as the foundation. I think it's very, very smart looking. So I'm just going to apply that straight underneath my eyes. I actually really love the applicator of this. It's kind of like the perfect shape for your under eye. I'm gonna apply some of that concealer onto my lids as well. Now to blend this out, I'm just gonna use this little concealer brush from Revolution. And so far, it looks like it's gonna be quite a creamy concealer but we will see once it's blended out. As this video goes on, I genuinely feel like I'm looking worse and worse, but that's only because the concealer and the foundation is just way too light for me. Like, look at my hand. The shades are literally just ridiculous, but I've got to say that concealer, I'm actually really pleased with. The foundation was a little bit meh, but the concealer is perfect. Like, look how highlighted my under eye looks. There's not a single darkness under my eyes right now. It's perfect. Now, the next product we're gonna be trying out is actually a contour blush and highlighter palette from XX Revolution. This is the step of this makeup that I'm hoping is gonna save this whole situation. So this is what the little palette looks like. Ooh, I really like the packaging. It looks very like retro in my opinion. It kind of has like this really nicely textured lid of the product. Ooh, okay. Okay, XX Revolution, I see you. This is really nice. So this product is actually a baked product. It's called the Gravitate Complexion Palette. So it's got the blusher, highlighter, and a baked bronzer. I think I'm just gonna go straight into the bronzer and see what this does. Hopefully this will rescue this look. So let's give it a go. Yeah, this looks bad. This looks bad. I don't know why. I genuinely think it's the foundation underneath. Like, it was never a good start, was it? It's like clung onto this bit where I said that it was kind of like bunching up as soon as I put the foundation on. So, um, yeah. I think I might just have to start from scratch because this is not looking good. I mean, the baked bronzer is a really nice color. It seems to be blending out okay here, but it's just like grabbing onto this patch right here, which I just know I'm not gonna be able to fix unless I literally take the whole thing off. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this whole thing off and start again. Honestly, that is just my luck for that to happen to me. I should have never tried to use a matte foundation considering I've got dry skin. So that's probably my bad. But it's time for round two. I actually really wanted to try this product instead as well. So now I get a chance. So this is the Cloud Complexion Soft Touch Primer. Hopefully this will be more suited to my skin type. Much as I love the feeling of the Quench Bomb, I just don't think it's suitable for my kind of skin type. Personally, I tend to prefer primers that are like creamy and very like, I don't know, kind of like this. This is literally what I need in a primer. Oh my God, this smells so good. It smells of coconut and it literally looks like whipped cream. That is literally whipped cream. Oh yes, I can tell already this is way better of a primer than the Quench Bomb. Very hydrating, very, very like soothing on the skin. It's exactly what I need. Okay, this primer so far feels really, really nice. It feels very hydrating. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. And I guess it was always meant to be. I was always meant to try out the Glow Foundation. So I'm gonna give this a shot and see if it's much better than the matte one. Oh my God, the packaging on this is so cute. It's kind of like an iridescent pink. Okay, so again, I'm just going to blend this into my skin. And again, it's gonna be the wrong shade, but it's okay, because we're gonna bronze up. All right, so I've never said that I've been happy to restart my makeup until today, because I've actually found a pretty good foundation. The matte foundation was just not for me right from the get-go. I should have really seen that happening, but this foundation is totally me. It's actually still really nice in coverage. I had quite a lot of blemishes on this side and it's covered them up pretty well. 
It's not bunching up anywhere. It's like sitting pretty nicely on my skin. It's very luminous, but it doesn't look oily. So I'm really, really happy with this. I'm now just gonna reapply my concealer again off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just set my face with a little bit of powder just because it was getting a little bit shiny. But now it is time to move on to the contour once again, where we left off. Hopefully this time it will work a lot better. So I'm literally just going to try and bronze up the same way I did last time. Okay, yeah, that is working a lot better now. That is a beautiful shade. Wow, look at that. I'm literally just gonna use this bronzer to try and like bronze up my whole face because obviously the foundation is still not quite my shade. Okay, so that is my contour complete. I'm now gonna take the baked blusher from this palette and I'm just going to apply that right to the apples of my cheeks. This looks like a really nice, almost like shimmery kind of blush. So let's see how this looks. Okay, that is quite pretty. I actually quite like that, even though I'm usually much more of a matte blusher kind of gal. Okay, so to finish off the skin for highlighter, I could use the one from this palette, but I kind of want to try out one of their singles. So the one I'm going to be using today is called the Reactive Exposure Highlighter. It's the multi-dimensional powder. First of all, the packaging is the same as this little face palette. I absolutely love it. But of course, it's what's inside that matters. And what's inside is also gorgeous. This is just such a beautiful highlighter. I mean, look at the color. You can just tell it's gonna be blinding. So to apply this bad boy, I'm gonna use this little highlighter brush. I'm just gonna swirl it around there a little bit and literally just go straight onto my cheekbone. Are you guys seeing that? Wow. <laughs> That is literally so blinding, but it's also very glittery. Let me try it on this side. Oh my days. That is literally so freaking blinding. You could probably see that from the moon. That's actually mental. I mean, it is very pigmented and very visible because it is quite chunky. I mean, once it's on the skin, it's okay. But when you first apply it, it's like, whoa, this is like proper glittery. To be honest though, I don't mind that that much. I actually really like the glitteriness of it. I think it's something a bit different. I feel like this sort of highlighter would be absolutely amazing for like festivals. It's just so visible. I'm gonna apply a little bit of that onto my brow bone as well. Look how freaking gorgeous that is. Are you guys seeing this? I mean, Revolution highlighters are always the bomb. So I kind of expected this to be amazing and it has not disappointed. All right, guys, so now moving on to the eyes. I actually have a couple of different eyeshadow palettes that they have very kindly sent me. The first one is this, which you guys know me, I absolutely love anything marble. Like the whole of my range with Revolution is kind of like marble themed. So this is so up my street. And the packaging on the inside is even more beautiful. Look how freaking gorgeous that is. All of these shadows inside, I'm pretty sure, are kind of similar to the Foil Frenzy formula in Revolution. That's kind of what they look like to me. Yeah, that's basically the Foil Frenzy formula. I'm genuinely obsessed with this formula. It is so creamy. I have this in my own palettes too. And it's like one of their best formulas that have ever come out by far, I would say. But of course, for today's video, it wouldn't be right if I didn't try out the massive palette that they have come out with for XX Revolution. And it's this one right here. Look at the packaging. It is like holographic, it's rainbow, it's everything. I love this. Inside, there is 60 different shades. Can you guys see that? That's insane. I honestly have no idea what to expect with this palette because I've never actually seen any photos of this yet. So I'm going to be just as surprised as you guys. So let's open it up. Oh, okay. So this is literally like everything that I ever wear. So it's perfect. However, I did kind of expect a little bit more color. So these are all of the shades in the palette. And I've got to say, a lot of them kind of look quite similar, especially shades like this one and this one, or, you know, this one and this one. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not surprised because this is literally a palette of 60 neutral shades. How many neutral shades could you come up with? I like the fact that there's warms on the top, there's more cooler ones on the bottom. So there's literally something for everyone here, which I definitely really appreciate. 
All right, so really annoyingly enough, I didn't actually film my eyeshadow look up to this point, but all I did is I used this shade and this shade together and kind of just blended them throughout the crease and created this tapered sort of effect. Now lastly, to deepen up the crease even more, I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is kind of like a purpley red sort of shade. And with this one, I'm just gonna focus that right in the outer corner and not really blend it out too much. I'm now just gonna take the second red shade that I used and I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line as well. I'm then gonna take this shimmery red kind of shade because I'm really intrigued as to how that's gonna perform on the eye. And I also feel like it will go quite well with the overall red tone of this eye look. I'm pretty sure that this is the Foil Frenzy formula as well, which means that it doesn't really apply that well with a brush, but it does apply amazingly if you use your finger. So that is what I am gonna do today. And as you guys can see, that is definitely a lot, lot better. Oh my God, that is actually a beautiful shade. I'm obsessed. I'm sorry, but I'm actually obsessed with the shade. It's kind of like the perfect light red with like a tiny bit of golden glitter in there. It's beautiful. And now to finish off this look, to add a tiny bit of highlight in the inner corner, I'm gonna be using this really nice coppery gold kind of shimmer shade. And I'm just going to pop that right in the inner corner of my eyes. All right guys, so that is the eyeshadow look complete. I'm actually obsessed with it. This is probably my most favorite eye look that I've done in a while because I haven't really done much eyeshadow recently. All right guys, so here is my finished look using the XX Revolution products. I overall am really pleased. In case you guys are wondering, for the lipstick, I didn't have an XX Revolution lipstick, so instead I used my own Revolution X Roxy lipstick. I ended up using the shade London, which is probably my favorite lipstick of the whole collection, but yeah, this is the finished look. I'm actually really, really happy with the overall look. I think my favorite part of the look is definitely the eyes. I'm really happy with how my eyeshadow turned out, and obviously it's all thanks to the palette. This palette is definitely on the pricier side, but it is well worth the money. There is 60 shades in here and they are all absolutely amazing formulas, as you can see. I mean, with how the video was going at the beginning, I felt like it was gonna be a disaster, but I feel like I've turned it around. I actually am really happy with my base now. My skin looks nice. There's no like patchiness around my jaw. It's absolutely perfect. So I would say the glow foundation is definitely well worth the money, but I would definitely skip the matte one, but that could just be my skin tone. That could just be the way I applied it. Who knows? But if you guys have tried it, let me know if it works for you. I would say overall, I am actually really pleased with all of the XX Revolution products. I am very, very impressed with the quality, the packaging, everything is really nice and it feels really premium too. So although it does have that higher price bracket than Revolution does, I would say it's still well worth the money. If you guys enjoyed this video and you like this look that I've managed to create, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys do. But anyways, that is all from me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.